Hey, Shalom, Israel, Most High Christ, bless. Hey, this 15 minutes with the captains. I'm Captain Oshaya. Shalom, Officer Gidry. Hey, look, y'all, and this is Dissecting Christianity Part 4. Who did Paul write to? Man, look, you got a big so-called lie going on in the Christian church that they say Paul rises to everybody. But we're going to open up the Bible and we're going to prove to you who Paul was writing to according to the word. Look, let's open up with Acts chapter 18, verse 2. Let's deal with the Romans first and foremost. Let's deal with the Romans. Let's see who in Rome Paul was writing to. Who are these Romans? Read The book of Acts chapter 18 and verse 2. And found a certain Jew named Aquila, born in Pontius, lately come from Italy. Italy is in Rome. This Jew was born in Pontius. Born in Pontius. Read. Lately came from Italy with his wife Priscilla. So he came from Rome with his wife Priscilla. Read. Because that Claudius had commanded all Jews to depart from Rome. You hear that the Jews was in Rome. So the Romans Paul was writing to was Jews. You had Jews that lived in Rome. Let's go even deeper to that. Let's uh, go to Acts chapter 22, verse 25. Now remember, y'all, Claudius, he was dipping northern kingdom in tar and lighting them on fire. You can read about that in the book of Josephus. That's why he, Claudius commanded all the Jews to depart from Rome. He was killing them. Let's read. Acts chapter 22 and verse 25. And as they bound him with thorns, Paul said unto the centurion that stood by, Is it lawful for you to scourge a man that is a Roman? Listen to Paul use his Roman citizenship. He said, look, is it lawful for you to scourge a man who is a Roman? But was Paul actually a Roman? Was he actually a Roman? Hold it, you know what I want. Give me uh, Romans, Romans 11 and 1. 11 and 1. Let's see if Paul was actually a woman. He using his woman citizenship right now, just like when we travel. Uh, and I travel with the leadership. I use my American citizenship. I be like, yes, I'm American. Why? Because I know America is the top nation on earth. And when you say that you're American, the people won't be too quick to sit up there to try to persecute you for certain things because of the citizenship that you hold. Read. The book of Romans chapter 11 and verse 1. I say then, have God cast away his people? God forbid. God didn't cast away the Israelites. I know a lot of y'all think that the Israelites have been cast away in the Christian church. The Israelites have not been cast away. Read. God forbid. For I also am an Israelite. He of, said, I am an Israelite of what? I also am an Israelite of the seed of Abraham, of the tribe of Benjamin. You see, they say I'm from the tribe of Benjamin. Paul was an Israelite. But let's go back to Acts 22, verse 25. Acts. Paul is using his Roman citizenship. Listen. Acts chapter 22, and verse 25. And as they bound him with thorns, Paul said unto the centurion that stood by, Is it lawful for you to scourge a man that is a Roman and uncondemned? So he says, is it lawful for you to scourge a man who is a Roman? Paul uses his Roman citizenship. Read. When the centurion heard that, he went and told the chief captain, saying, Take heed what thou doest, for this man is a Roman. So the centurion, a centurion is a captain of a hundred. He said, hey, take heed to what you do to Paul, because Paul is a Roman. The Bible ain't contradicting itself. Paul was smart. He was a man of elegance. He was using his Roman citizenship. So those Jews, those Romans that he was writing to in Rome were Jews. Read on. Verse 27. Then the chief captain came and said to him, Tell me, art thou a Roman? He said, Paul, tell me, are you a Roman? Let's see what Paul going to say. He said, yeah. yeah. But Paul was what? Paul was a Jew. Matter of fact, let's see it again. He was actually born in Rome. He had Roman citizenship. Jump up to Acts 22. Start at verse 3. Acts chapter 22 and verse 3. I am verily a man which am a Jew, born in Tarsus, a city in Sicilia. He was a preborn, read. Yet brought up in this city at the feet of Gamaliel, and taught according to the perfect manner of the law of their fathers, and was zealous towards God as ye all are this day. You see that? So Paul was born. He was preborn. He was born in Rome. So now, we already proved that those, Ro those Romans that he was writing to was Jews that was in Rome. Claudius forced all Jews up out of Rome. 
Those were the Romans who was trying to. Let's go from there. Let's deal with the Corinthians. Let's see who the Corinthians was that Paul was right to. Let's go to Acts chapter 18, verse 1. Now, we're going to read all the way down to verse 4. We're going right back to Acts 18. We're going to start at verse 1 this time. Read it. The book of Acts chapter 18 and verse 1. After these things, Paul departed from Athens and came to Corinth. He came to Corinth. Let's jump on down to verse 4. Let's see what he was doing in Corinth. Read. Verse 4. And he reasoned in the synagogue every Sabbath and persuaded the Jews and the Greeks. There was a Jewish synagogue there. Our people was there. That's why he was there in Corinth. He said he reasoned with the Jews and the Greeks. The Greeks is talking about Greek-speaking Jews, Hellenized Jews. Remember you had uh, the book of 1 Maccabees and 2 Maccabees where the Greeks conquered our people. They forced our people to become Greek. They forced our people to not to uh, profess themselves at all to be a Jew. So these was Greek-speaking Jews, Hellenized Jews that was in Corinth. Read that again. Acts chapter 18 and verse 4. And he reasoned in the synagogue every Sabbath and persuaded the Jews and the Greeks. See, there was a Jewish synagogue there. Now let's go from there. Let's deal with the Ephesus, the Ephesians. Who was these Ephesians Paul was writing to? Let's go to Acts 18. Let's jump down to verse 24. The book of Acts chapter 18 and verse 24. And a certain Jew named Apollos, born in Alexandria, now look, he was born in Alexandria. Alexandria was in Egypt. He was born, this Jew was born in Egypt. Let you know that the Jews was everywhere. Read on. An eloquent man and mighty in the scriptures came to Ephesus. They came to Ephesus, read on. This man was instructed in the way of the Lord. Being fervent in spirit, he spake and taught diligently the things of the Lord knowing only the baptism of John. Verse 26. And he, and he began to speak boldly in the synagogue. What was this synagogue at? In Ephesus. Who he talking to? He teaching. The Jews. The Jews and the scouted Israelites that was around. The so-called strangers. And we're going to deal with them strangers too. Uh, part 5 of dissecting Christianity. Read on. And he began to speak boldly in the synagogue. And whom when Aquila and Priscilla had now, heard. Bro, Aquila and Priscilla, that was from where? Rome. Uh, Apollos was from, from where? Egypt. That was all Jews. Let you know that the Jews were set up, they were scattered throughout all lands. Read on. They took unto, it, unto him and expounded unto him the way of God more perfectly. You see that they expounded unto him the word of God more perfectly. You're talking about Apollo. Let's go from there. This was where? In Ephesus. Let you know it was Jews in Rome. It was Jews in Corinth. It was Jews in Ephesus. Let's deal with Galatians now. Let's see what these Galatians was. Jump up real quick to Acts 18 verse 23. Verse 23. And after he had spent, spent some time there, he departed and went over all the country of Galatia. Read. And Figura, in order strengthening all the disciples. Now look, it's in Figia. Now Figia is in Galatia. Now the northeastern part, the northeastern part of Figia is in Galatia, and the western part of Figia is in Asia. There you had Hellenized Jews, you know what I'm saying? The Hellenistic word, the Hellenistic word is dealing with Greek-speaking Jews, y'all. Dealing with Hellenized Jews. That's, uh, that's what, it, what it was dealing with. Go from there to Acts 2 real quick. Let's prove it. Acts 2 verse 5. Let's read the verse 10. The so Phrygia, the northwestern part of Phrygia is in Galatia, and the western part of Phrygia is in Asia. Read what you got. The book of Acts chapter 2 and verse 5. And there were dwelling at Jerusalem, Jews, devout men out of every nation under heaven. We know they was in Rome. We know they was in Corinth. We know they was in Ephesus. Now we find out they was in Galatia. Read on. Let's read. Devout men out of every nation under heaven. Now when this was noise abroad, the multitude came together and were confounded because that every man heard them speak in his own language. And they were all amazed and marveled, saying one to another, Behold, are not all these which speak Galileans? Read on. And how heard we every man in our own tongue 
wherein we were born. Parthians. So these Jews was born in Parthians. And Medes. They were born in Medes. Read. And Elamites. And the dwellers in Mesopotamia. Read. And in Judea. And in Cappadocia. And Pontus. And Asia. Phrygia. Read that again. Phrygia. Phrygia. What is Phrygia at? Remember, the northwestern part of Phrygia is in Galatia. The western part of Phrygia is in Asia. It's that, you know what? These Jews, devout men, they was dwelling there. Read verse 5 again. Verse 5, Acts chapter 2 and verse 5. And there were dwelling in Jerusalem Jews, devout men out of every nation under heaven. Verse 10. Verse 10. Phrygia. Phrygia. These Jews came from Phrygia. They came from Galatia. Read on. And Pamphylia. Read. And Egypt. And Egypt. They came from Egypt. Remember, we just read that in Acts chapter 18, verse 24. How Apollo came from Egypt. Read. And in the parts of Libya, about Cyrene and strangers of Rome. And strangers of Rome. You had these Jews, devout men, born in Rome. Read on. Jews and proselytes. That's it right there. Now, let's go from there. We just... We just killed Galatia. It is what it is. Let's deal with Thessalonica. Let's see who was the Thessalonians. Acts 18, verse, Acts 17, verse 1. The book of Acts, chapter 17, and verse 1. Who was these Thessalonians? Read. Now, when they had passed through Amphipolis and Apollonia, and, and Apollonia, they came to Thessalonica. Read. Where was a synagogue of the Jews? Where was a synagogue of the Jews? A synagogue of the Jews? A synagogue of the Jews? And they also taught the scattered Israelites there. The ones that was going by Gentile. I mean the ones that was called Gentile. The ones that was following Gentile customs. The ones that was Hellenized. The ones that was being rejected by the Jews. Paul went to them also. But he always reasoned with the Jews. Let's deal with, uh, uh, let, let's see, uh, did we deal with the Ephesians yet? Ephesus? Let's get there, Acts 18, verse 9. Ephesians. Let's see who the Ephesians are. Acts 18, verse 9. The book of Acts, chapter 18, and verse 9. Then spake, to Lord, then spake the Lord to Paul. I mean, 19, 19. Acts, chapter 18, and verse 19. And he came to Ephesus and left them there. But he himself entered into the synagogue and reasoned with the Jews. And you know what? We did deal with Ephesus. Right. But look, we had to go a little deep. <laughs> we had to throw that one out there. We couldn't leave them. So we dealt with Ephesus. Okay, uh, let's deal with Philippi. Philippians. Let's see who the Philippians was Paul was right to. Acts 16, Acts 16, verse 13. The book of Acts, chapter 16, and verse 13. Read. And on the Sabbath, we... I mean, uh, start at verse 12, bro. Verse 12. And from thence to Philippi, which is the chief city of that part of Macedonia and a colony, and we were in that city abiding certain days. Now listen to what's going to happen, Reed. And on the Sabbath, we went out of the city by a riverside where prayer was wont to be made. So they had to go out of the city on the riverside. And the reason why they had to go out of the city because a Jewish synagogue wasn't permitted there. Notice they went out of the city on the Sabbath. Just like you, had certain, just like you got certain cities and certain countries where they'll be like, no, you can't practice your religion here. So they had to go outside of the city for prayer. Read that again. Verse 13, start at 12 and 13 together. Acts chapter 16 and verse 12. And from thence to Philippi, which is the chief which is the chief city of that part of Macedonia, and a colony, and we were in that city abiding certain days. Read. And on the Sabbath, we went out of the city by a river, where prayer was going to be made. And we sat down and spake unto the women which resorted thither. So you have women keeping the Sabbath. Keeping the Sabbath. Praying on the outside of the city. Why? Because synagogue wasn't permitted there. So with that, y'all, this is another 15 minutes of the captains. We showed you that the Romans, he, who he was right to, was Jews and scouting Israelites, the Corinthians, the Ephesians, the Galatians, the Thessalonians, the uh, Philippians, 
All of these were Israelites. With that, y'all, we're going to say shalom. Most high Christ blessed. This is another 15 minutes with the captain. Now you see the true men of God. We are not black men. We are Israelites. Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.